15 Broad Street. That address probably doesn't mean much to you unless you are one of Akron's homeless, their advocate Sage Lewis, or one of the city officials trying to kick them out of their safe place. Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. The homeless are invisible to many people. You know, out of sight, out of mind. And this included Sage Lewis. That is until 2015 when he ran for mayor and took to the streets asking for signatures so he could get his name on the ballot. Sage never became mayor, but he discovered a major calling on his life, serving the homeless. We are private citizens on private land spending private money to take care of those most in need. Initially, Sage hired his new friends to help with his auctioneering business. It wasn't long before he allowed them to open a thrift store, selling leftover items from the auctions, all to benefit them. That brings us to January 2017, when a county agency evicted several dozen homeless from their camp in the woods. The reason? To extend a hiking trail. The temperatures were freezing. Sage mercifully allowed his unhoused friends to set up tents on the back lot of his business at 15 Broad Street. The homeless charity and village started as a small group of people that were kicked off of public land. And so they had nowhere to go in January, and a few people came here and asked to spend the night. And one thing led to another. Someone put one tent up and then another tent, and another tent, and today we have over 40 tents. But that's not all. He also provided, and still does, food, showers, laundry facilities, clothing, and computer access. Tent community resident Rebecca is grateful for the help. As soon as I got here, like I said, I felt safe. I dreaded to think where I'd be if it wasn't for this place. 15 Broad also provides a path to rejoining the rest of society. A strict no-alcohol policy is helping some to sober up. And one graduate is now an entrepreneur who obtains vacant houses and renovates them for the homeless. You'd think the city would be grateful that private funds are supporting the social safety net at no public expense. Not so. Instead, Sage has endured municipal ingratitude. Last spring, the city of Akron asked him to apply for a conditional use permit, saying residential use in a commercial zone is nonconforming. He jumped through all the legal hoops, but city officials rejected his request for a variance by an 8-4 to four vote, despite overwhelming public support at the city council meeting. Faced with the prospect of turning away the homeless from his property, Sage was forced to sue the city. Thankfully, he's got help from the nonprofit Institute for Justice, which provides a free legal team for the clients it serves. According to IJ attorney Diana Simpson, The Ohio Constitution has among the strongest property protections in the nation, and we are going to court to vindicate these rights. Specifically, the Ohio Constitution has a provision that can especially apply to protecting the homeless. Unfortunately, Akron is not the only place where government officials are, let's say, indifferent to the homeless. In my own area, city officials ran the homeless out of a park to create a nicer, I hope you can see the air quotes here, environment for business development. And I know of one homeless lady, her name was Betty, who lived in her van 24-7. She was forced to move it every two hours for the rest of her life in order to avoid a ticket. Compassion for the homeless versus inconvenience for everybody else. There's got to be a better balance, one that empowers people like Good Samaritan Sage Lewis. We gratefully acknowledge the help of the Institute for Justice with this report. They have generously allowed us to use excerpts from the video material on their website. You can check it all out at ij.org. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. you hear this.com.